Delta Recon here. Enemy has multiple armored vehicles, artillery and fortifications in the field. It's gonna be a bitch getting them out of there. But we're targeting these three locations. They are our first priority. Copy, Recon. Tank platoon, proceed across the ellipse. First, we need to establish a strong base. Solid I got a copy. feeling these guys aren't going to want us to stay here. Welcome back to Act of War Direct Action. Welcome to the White House. Which is here, and we're not allowed Tank to destroy platoon. it. At your service. Good. Let's secure the perimeter. We'll do. Firstly, you Moving join out, those sir. guys. I'm out. And the rest of you forms one big group Ready to execute command. and destroys everything they have. All guns forward. Pretty straightforward. Enemy All guns forward here. Boom. First is down. And oh, forward. it's not. There's, there's still a ladder hanging around here, so don't get. Oh! But they mainly have Bradleys, and these Bradleys, they are cheaper than. My Abrams tanks, but they're also significantly weaker. To new Enemy Ooh, to new um, one of these guys here. Location. Nope, you're not going to get any with. Oh, and the ladder, that's the priority target. Boom, we can see. These guys, they just, they just explode. So let's check that out. And. Boom, there we go. So you. Get out of here. And was there another pallet? Oh no, these guys here. Yeah, these are actually more dangerous than the Bradleys, in my opinion. Especially if they are hiding inside. Nice work, man. Perimeter secure. Let's deploy. Vega, send in the base construction units. We've got work to do. We'll do. And we also don't have time to waste. So let's get. These guys over here, because there's a repair depot here. There we go. Enemy aircraft approaching. Multiple fighters heading towards the base. Yep, we do not have air. Enemy repair center. There are several main battle tanks inside. Let's lighten our defenses. We need turrets and anti-air units to defend base perimeter. We'll need more units before we can launch an assault against the White House. Yep, we will do. So let's get some defenses up. Uh, here as well, and let's also get some more generators. Nice work. Repair center is destroyed. On my way. Some more of these guys here, because oh, we don't want to run out of power. That's literally the last thing we want to happen here. So you guys move north. Oh, got Abrams tanks here. That's okay. I've got more Abrams tanks. So you defend this area here. That should do it for now. You get me one of these here, you get me one of these there, you get me one of these here, and you get me one of these here, and then maybe another generator or two, just so we really don't run out of power, and let's get... We want this upgrade, uh, maybe not right Aircraft now. Aircraft heading to our base with air-to-ground missile capabilities. Radar signature confirms multiple A-10 Thunderbolts. Okay, that's all right. Shoot right through our tanks. That was a direct hit. Enemies A-10 anti-tank aircraft are now inoperable. That's awesome. So in the meantime, let's get a bunch of buggies. Like six or so. Let's get you, you going. And here we go. So we finish. Actually, you don't need to help there. That, that's going to finish sooner or later on its own. So, you guys, you go down, get over here, and you give me a heavy armor depot here. How expensive that anyway? That's actually pretty cheap. I'll get two of those because I can. Are they? Situation is stabilizing. Vega, give me a citrap. Enemy appears to be mobilizing their forces for a large-scale counterattack on this location. They've deployed several main battle tanks just north of our base. What if we struck first? How would you like our odds? 
I wouldn't, sir. They've got four men for every one of ours. Then we'll dig in. Enemy is mobilizing as we speak. Let me know what's happening. Enemy artillery forces are deploying on our right flank. They're scrambling, so they're not well defended. Good. We're gonna blow them sky high. Sir, all due respect, but if you take them out, you'll probably draw the bulk of their assault force. Understood, Lieutenant, but now's the time. Let's do it while our defenses are strong enough to sustain their assault. Main battle tank engaged. So, in the meantime, let's also blow up these reactors here and let's get this is a buggy. another force out here. Let's get you over here, just so I don't have all my buggies in one in one spot. Actually, I'll, I'll get you to the south here. Uh, didn't I build a repair center? I did. So let's get... Come on, you guys. Just destroy all of these. Please. It's not that difficult. So you can... How did you even get that close to the front lines? I don't know, but it doesn't really matter. Let's blow these guys here up. And... Yeah, you defend here, then you should pretty much automatically blow all of this up. But if you... There's a feeling I'm just blocking myself here. Boom. And yeah, one thing you may have noticed is that we don't have any oil derricks on this map, so we need to rely on POWs or m better these banks here. There we go. So let's get you back home. Boom. In your face. So that's said and done. We get over here. I think I want... don't have that much money left, but I think I can afford one more Abrams from e each of these. You get down here. And it looks like they're... where's their assault anyway? I'm j just asking. You actually become group 3 now. You become... This is a buggy. You become group one. Copy, I'm on it. Oh yeah, let's let's wait for these guys to join me. And you guys become group Ready, over. Group two. So what was you oh you yeah you guys can go home and give me some money. All goes forward. You can get over here as well. And Ready, you command. secure me this bank here. Copy, I'm on it. Hostiles are engaged. Oh. We're taking eight. Are we? Okay, I guess we are. So that's okay though. Oh, there's a lot of guys. So let's just roll over them. Yep, there we go. SWAT team guarding that bank. The enemy has launched an attack. Move in and provide support. Yep, oh you're the boss now, Vega. Uh two ounce she actually has a point, so. So bl blow these guys up and there we go. We have secured our monies here. So you guys move what's happening here? Ah oh, whatever, it's just a bunch of guys. So you guys move down here. And you guys get back home and repair yourselves. And anything else I want. Uh, now that I have the money, I may as well get more more reactors because I'm, well, not reactors, like solar thingies. Because I'm going to need them sooner or later. Uh, later, actually, but yeah, never, never, nevertheless, I'm going to need them. So you get yourself healed up, all of you. Okay, one thing I learned is that worker units are included in groups automatically. That's actually kind of convenient. So there was a bunch of guys in here. And now they're all dead. So Copy, I'm on it. you can actually enemy spot enemy vehicles in the shroud if you look out for exploding vehicles because those boom. So you defend here and blow everything up that we have there. You guys get over here. Actually, you become the new group one, and you guys become the new group three blow up everything we have here so you get over here oh got another abrams here yeah i'll take that more abrams are always good over here 
here and can we actually yeah let's get this upgrade here because we can no don't didn't want to buy that but we can probably put another one of these here just so we can make sure our flanks are secured maybe one more here and yeah we should be good here as well so let's move north uh, yeah, fire hydrants, exploded fire hydrants also give you an idea where enemy vehicles are rolling through. So more planes, but we'll, we'll solve the plane situation uh, soon. But for now let's get a couple more of these buggies, because you never know when you need more anti-air. So you guys move, move up here. And you, oh, so there's the artillery. Boom. Units are regrouping for a massive attack on this location. ETA less than two minutes. Yep, but before we do that, we've got other stuff to take care of, such Heads as up, Sergeant Major. A SWAT team is moving towards the eastern bank, but they're walking into a hornet's nest. We've got to clean that zone. Over. Copy that. Okay. Where that's where's that SWAT team anyway? Oh, there they are. Okay, so let's get all these squatties in here. And let's have you guys blow up that. Oh, they actually have a power. That's convenient. Boom. Enemies using several ADATS turrets. I'm looking for their power sources. Transferring data now. Okay, looks oh. Looks like we ran into Sir, the mad as hell now. It looks like they're getting ready to launch a major assault. Good thinking. If we can cut their power, our job will be a lot easier. Already done. It's a bad move. We need to defend this base at all costs. Their power is out, but their base is still operational. I'm sorry, Major. I overlooked their backup generators. I'm transferring coordinates now. So you join enemy these guys no here. Enemy has power. I repeat, enemy's defenses are down. Move in and retake the White House. But whatever you do, you leave that building intact. Understand? So let's have Alpha Squad will be joined by. You shoot these guys down, please. Where where are my buggies? Oh, there we go. Be joined by Bravo Squad. But, and also by Gamma Squad, so... And then let's just move in. We don't have, have time to waste here. And they have a lot of choppers here. Be prepared for that. Should probably should have built more buggies. But we uh, think we're good to go. Generally spoken. Boom. And yeah, I think... No, they, they won't be able to stop me. Not now. But damn the frame drops, so... Yeah, the game is not really designed to handle stuff like this. So, let's blow all of this up. And these dozers are just calmly repairing stuff they have here. Which is kind of cute. Oh, and they have they have so many choppers. They bring, bring anti-air when you attack this base. Everything else is suicide. You destroy that, you destroy this, the HQ. Be careful with the White House. There's guys inside, so your your paladins and stuff they will automatically target it. But you don't want that to happen because if you destroy it, you lose. Instead, let's destroy these wings here, and then let's blow up all of these guys, and then let's move everybody over here, so we avoid the situation where we blow up all all that they have. Come on, just just destroy this. It's not that difficult. Oh, and Sir, I've identified two air control towers close to our base. We should be able to take them out. Stop attacking the White House, guys. It's you got it, sir. You're clear to raise status to DEFCON 1. That is great. So let's just do that, and let's also get. Uh, I want more Abrams tanks. So let's get more Abrams tanks, like ten more. 
If I can afford that, I can't. So, anyway, you guys get back to base, and the rest of you, you stay here. Actually, you can join. I will all I'll combine these squads because there's just not enough left of my forces to justify having two squads here. So here we go. What I could do is some some extracting a decent amount of money here now, and uh, you may as well return to base. What I could do is first you can you can join these guys, and what do we have? Oh. Oh, oh dear, those guys are still around. I thought they, they had retreated, but evidently they haven't, so... I guess I have to take those out as well. But that's okay, we can we can do that. Hey, you guys move. What are you doing? So... You wanna start, start shooting us? Oh, there we go, thank you. What? That was you guys. Anyway, you can join those guys. And then let's blow up whatever they have here. Boom. And boom. And boom. So there we go. That should be it. Now you guys can actually repair yourself. And let's get some more some more generators going. And yeah, let's get another one here. And you guys move north. You guys stay here for now. So these buildings are secure, and what do we have here? Oh, these guys. Yeah, you get, you go home, and so do you guys, and so do you, and you. I've got a lot of you hang just hang around here, and you you stay here for now. So, oh, this is just a POW guy, so that's okay. I'm also going to take you guys and. Bring it up here. You are going to build me an on HQ here. Just You're going to way. get me on, my way. on the White House once I'm actually ready for that. So, uh, repair depot. Uh, you know what? I might actually get repair vehicles instead. What do I need for that? Shield control center. Upgrade the shield technology. Okay, I'm going to get that. Fine. Ready, over. Oh, so Copy, these guys here. Uh, oh, these guys are ready. Damn, that's a lot of guys. Oh, I love that. Almost ready, forget that I was building command. another largest group of Paladins, by which I mean Abrams tanks. So, we get over here. You guys can repair yourself here. And wasn't I supposed to build a base here? W what happened with that? Just point that way. Never mind, let's do it here. And you guys can move up north as extra anti-air. So that's great. When did you get damaged? Oh, I guess that was plan. So you built me one more of these here. And... Oh yeah, you guys are getting fixed. That's great. You built me another one of these. Uh, so you will defend yes, my flank here. You will. Uh, you you need repairs first. So let's get. How expensive is this? Oh, that's that's very cheap. Yeah, let's get that. So you will get me some some more defenses here. You guys can hang out here, and I think I want a couple more of you guys. So. I'm low-ish on money in the sense that I, I wish I had a little more, but uh, the bank extraction isn't super fast, so there isn't really a whole lot we can do about it. So you guys need to go up here again, and looks like I already have the repair upgrade, which is good, so it so sounds like it applies to all, all repair centers. You get me another one of these here, and you can get over here. I'll some of you will will go north, some of you will remain here as, as my defense. So, you get with these guys here, get over here, and, oh yeah, here, 
my other dozers, so let's get another one of these here. And another one here. You just hang out here, I guess. And you hang out there, I guess. So, and you will be my main main attack force. Actually, I think you'll join those guys, because they could have more... You instead stay here. Could have more stuff in the north. You stay here as well. And yeah, you get around here. Because I think they still have stuff in the north. At least they could. So anyway, you get me... Shield control center, which is rather large. There we go. And you check out what's over here. Make sure you just defend this area. Yep. Still stuff left. Definitely. And still air units left. Oh, and the you guys in that building too. Yeah, m multiple Abrams tanks. That was almost to be expected. So you get over here. And you guys take the White House. And you just defend this area here. So do you. And there's another Abrams tank. Please just kill this guy here, before he blows up the White House. There we go. Good job, men. The White House is back under our control. Vega, get me Jefferson. It's time for the President to come back home. Jefferson here. Nice to hear your voice again, sir. Sergeant Major, put Chairman and Marine Does have to be so large? back to the White House. Perimeter is secured. Damn, this blocks most of my screen. Just point that way. On my way. So I've built more of these. We're going to need them sooner or later. On my way. And Just point that way. Yeah, so President's going to fly in with Jefferson and Marine One, and then everything will be happy. On my way. Rainbows and unicorns, maybe. And let's get yeah more of these. Whoops, when did that happen? Yeah, just, just don't jump the screen like that. O also, let's get uh, two or three more of these. So here we go. Unfortunately, we can't repair this building, so... Hello, my lovely. Put your boss on. Ah... There you are. Congratulations on rescuing the president. Not that it matters. He is, how you say, chump change. It's over, Zakharov. You got nothing left. I have Falling Star. The project was canceled years ago. You're bluffing. I'm afraid not. Oh, Jesus. It's a Navy navigation satellite. I have the codes. I have the palm print, and I have the White House coordinates. I am a very thorough man. It's a nuclear-powered device. Think of what you're doing, Robert. Kid shields enable it to pass through the atmosphere intact. Don't activate it. It's not too late for you, Robert. Don't do it. If it hits, it's Hiroshima all over again. Sorry, Mr. President. You're a goddamn coward, Robert. This weapon will take us all out, Zakharov. You'll die too. Someday, but not today. We are playing a game of chess, Rictor. I am 20 moves ahead of you. Well done. You have finally done something worthwhile with your life. Goodbye. 
Oh dear. This is not looking great. Major, we've got multiple objects passing through the stratosphere. Mr. President, is this falling star? Sadly, yes, Lieutenant. What's the target? Coordinates are locked on our location. Oh my. Actually, let's get you out of the way. And... No, not, not the playground. You bastard. Think of the children. Not the park, or oh, think of the environment. Not the, well, well, yeah, you can actually blow up the street, I don't Holy really care. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, that was close. Jesus. Yes, sir. The next one could land right on us. Vega, do we have anything we can use to counter this weapon? It's a hell of a weapon, sir. It's designed to overcome all defenses, but... Maybe we could deploy Patriot Pac-3 ballistic air defense systems. Do you copy, Jefferson? We need to deploy at least one Patriot installation next to the White House. And Jefferson, be on your guard. Zakharov still has troops out there. Yep. On my way to do just that. Build a perimeter around the White House. The terrorists are preparing a counter-strike right now. On my way. So... The way super weapons work in this game is you've got a super weapon, but you need to pay to essentially charge it. And you have this defense system, and the defense system essentially works on a like pay by missile basis as well. So I can I can buy, buy these missiles here, and as soon as I've got one ready, it can intercept one enemy super weapon. So it's a it's a payoff. You've got to invest resources. So you please build me this. You have to invest some resources to use your strike, and you also have to invest some to avoid getting hit. That's generally worth it because I think a missile only costs like a thousand dollar, and it's likely to cause a lot more damage than that. So yeah, there's that. Patriots are deployed and fully operational, sir. Good. Let's hope it works. Zakharov's men are going to continue launching assaults against us. Star or no star, Jefferson. We have to verify that our Patriot installations are always fully loaded. Vega, what can we do to stop these attacks? I've located the enemy's uplink installation. Over here. Over. On my way. They're using two of them. I'm transferring data now. Drone Let's take them out. Mr. President, I need you to give me clearance Just to deploy Wolverine way. tactical missiles On against Zakharov. Way. Wolverines? Do you realize what you're saying, Major? Those are weapons of last resort. Just point that way. All due respect, sir. This is our Over last here. resort. Over. Jefferson, deploy a Wolverine On silo. The uh, Wolverine silo are deploy all the Wolverine silos, yeah. Weapon X is a yeah, not a, it's not actually Weapon X. Like Hugh Jackman is not it's not in this game, but uh, you can actually help here a little bit now that we added. But we do have our super weapon, it's essentially just a fancy missile. So let's build a couple of those. Let's hope we have enough power, but we really should have enough power. So as you can see, this Patriot here is now loaded. And we can also get this early warning system. And so it, it can intercept the number of super weapons equal to the number of missiles I've loaded here. Or, inter or rockets, whatever they are, I don't know. And so we have to load these and we can also... <laughs> yeah, so... They call them plasma warheads, but to be honest, they just look like... Are those just like nukes? Because that, that looks that very way. mushroom cloudy to me. Anyway, so all we have to do is destroy the Zakharov stronghold, which is here. We can take out his super weapons, but to be honest, with even one... He will always aim for the White House, so with even one of these... We can essentially just... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I can essentially just uh, intercept them over and over and over again, and these only cost like a thousand, so if I take a couple of POWs and get my, On my way. get my, On my way. Major, yes, Lieutenant. I don't understand. Why is he doing all of this? I don't know, Vega. Because he can't, maybe. He became incredibly rich and incredibly powerful. Those are here. He wants the whole Over. world to bend to his will. Those are here. Over. We're in his way. That's insane. That's the will to power, Vega. He hasn't won yet. 
but I want to say so when I, once I get my sustainable source of income I can actually oh yeah, stop doing that I can actually like hold this up forever if I really wanted to so so anyway lost a couple of things here because they sent stealth tanks and other garbage but that's okay so we, we got this now let's just wait until our super weapons are ready and then yep yeah, I think I want at least four or five then we can just destroy Zakharov's stronghold and then we're good so yep yeah. yeah so we did that now and now they've got one missile less here so and come on didn't I? oh yeah there we go all right that should be sufficient so yeah let's do it let's super weapon the hell out of this position there we go and we may as well just get these backs right away so let's follow these beautiful missiles i don't think they can be intercepted any other way than wait where are you than with the the counter with the super weapon counter i don't think you can shoot them down with regular aircraft or anything so here we go let's just watch this show Ooh. Oh, this is actually still standing. Yeah, I guess I guess he had his own super weapon interception system there, but that's okay. We've got more missiles where those came from. And the next one should hit fully. And boom. God damn it, we did it. You know, Jason, that was kind of fun actually. We should do it again sometime. Yep, and that was it essentially. I bet that hurt. I hope so. I guess he wasn't 20 moves ahead of you after all. Lieutenant, collect some DNA. That, my friends, was Act of War Direct Action. So we did manage to kill Zakharov. At least we dropped a bunch of really big rockets on him. So I guess he's, he's probably gone. And America is victorious. The game is... It is a little bit Tom Clancy-like in the sense that a lot of things cycle around technology. You've got the stealth things. You've got super weapon captured by the consortium. Stuff like that. There's also this economic factor with the international oil crisis as a backdrop and stuff like that. Uh, there's a little bit of glorification in there as well, but it's a video game. I'm not too concerned about that. Overall, I did enjoy the game. The campaign, uh, it was kind of mixed. In a lot of missions, you're not really under attack very often. And Well, you are under attack, but there's there's few missions where it's really, it's really super intense and where you have to like, be very careful like what you build, in which order, so you really survive. You have a lot of liberty and a lot of missions initially they guide you through what you are supposed to do and while you can do things the other way, they often send you, oh take over this base and then you do that and then let's destroy that and you do that and then investigate that and you do that. And that is almost one third of the campaign so it feels a little bit tutorial like, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I have a feeling there's less less flexibility it feels a lot more scripted in my experience which of course for plot reason it also is 
but nevertheless uh, at one point I wish they would give me like a little more freedom how to approach things which is what they do in the expansion pack which I will also LP at one point up to a certain extent but we'll we'll get to that overall I think it was pretty solid the story is above average and I like the live action cutscenes I'm I'm a, I'm a sucker for that and that's another trait this game here shares with Command and Conquer series and overall the fractions are quite distinct they built their bases differently like the US Army and the consortium US power but the task force tail and has their forward bases they need and they've got this build radius that's fixed but they don't require power stuff like that and they feel it feels fairly realistic obviously it's not really realistic there's stuff like you're building just buildings in the field which you don't really do in that regard and but units get delivered they don't get built you do build a factory and all the buildings look what you might actually find in military base up to a certain degree again and a lot of buildings are actually landing strips much like in the first command and conquer not doesn't build units directly in their base instead they have those landing strips yeah uh, I would recommend the game nevertheless, especially at this point it's very, very cheap, but overall there are better games, but it's still an enjoyable experience. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Take care and goodbye.